Thanks, speaking with Humphrey Hale this morning from Carnivale Resources. Humphrey, morning. Good morning, Andrew. Good to see you, Humphrey. Uh, big morning for you, this maiden resource and scoping study out for Kukaini. Uh, just tell us firstly a couple of words on the resource itself. Yeah, we've we've been drilling away here for a couple of years now and, and growing uh, some high-grade uh, zones within what we used to call McTavish East, and now we've badged Swiftshore. Uh, to make it a little bit simpler and, and people don't get confused. But it is, um, it's a, a smallish resource, compact resource, but it contains a very high grade center uh, of what we call ounce dirt. And, and this is uh, pretty impressive stuff. It goes over 31 grams a ton and uh, is, is very high value. And because of its high grade, it doesn't cost a lot to process or truck. And so makes the project very valuable in in its whole. So we've decided to put out the resource statement and a scoping study uh, so that we can see the value of what is a is a niche deposit. You say the the resource itself fairly modest, but the deposit remains open. So scope here for resource growth. Absolutely. So we we've, we've got 75% of or 74% I think it is indicated resources within the scoping study. That doesn't include inferred material at depth. Uh, unclassified material obviously is not included, but we've got Valiant and Tiptoe slightly, you know, 200 metres to the north on the strike of the major structure and um, 200 metres to the south. So we've got down dip, uh, strike extensions of, of new exploration ground. So this is the very much the beginning. And, a, you know, a reminder that this, this is something which was a new discovery in an old mining camp. So uh, the opportunities are quite strong. And what are some of the headlines, Humphrey, from the scoping study? Headlines from the scoping study? Well, I've got, I've got a bit of paper just here, fresh, it's warm, printer. Um, I guess the, the big one is the MPV of 91 million Aussie uh, with a capital return of 192% IRR. Um, and, and that represents the low capital requirement to to get the project going it's it's 12.9 negative draw in month eight and pays back in month 14. Um, so pretty robust financials for this project um, and for carnival it's a stepping stone and, and underwrites value uh, and, and gives us some a, a new thing that we've been drilling for a few years so we're, we're pretty pleased about what we've got here and what what are your processing options well, the processing the project, it, it we would believe that this this because it's high grade can be trucked a long, long way. And and Kalgoorlie is 180 kilometres. We know Spectrum trucked their stuff 330 kilometres. So there's many options in the region. Um, we've done a, a a contract mining, toll treating type study to demonstrate the economics. However, of course, this could be monetized in in many different ways including joint venture, total buyout, merger, or or mined by us. Uh, it, it does depend on how things roll. And Humphrey, you say in the announcement this morning, this is just the, the starting point for Gukaini. So what's next? Well, of course, we, we would look to try and expand um, the near surface resources uh, to see what's under Valiant and Tiptoe and, and some of the other uh, potential anomalies that we've got in, in the uh, Kukani Gold Project, but also bring up those inferred resources into indicated at depth and, and a long strike. So grow the thing into something more. We know that that, that ounce dirt is there. Um, it's it's sometimes hard to find it, but it is surrounded by supporting uh, lower grade stuff. And I, when I say lower grade, you know, it's still four grams. You know, the average, it's it's, it's still strong. So we're, we're pretty pleased and, and we look forward to finding some more. Good to speak, Humphrey. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.